Some might say that that's a bold question to ask, are all RVs junk? Well, today we're gonna boldly answer that question, and I think it's one that's worth asking because things do go wrong in RVs, and you just look at social media, you're gonna see a handful of problems that are out there. Let, let me show you just the beginning of my list of things that I would like to be able to fix today or even this week, because it's more than I can probably handle in one day. This first one could be really simple. We have some loose trim, but there's more. So this drawer will be our representative for all the drawers that are starting to fail that are losing their, their marbles. This one's my wife's favorite. It's the squeaky fan. It's like having crickets on demand. I almost forgot when I was walking by, but the wall was separating here and I did a quick temporary fix. I, I still need to fix that permanently. Oh, and don't forget that our suspension needs a little bit of help and the plastic on the outside of the RV is starting to crack from exposure to the sun. But let's be honest, this is an RV that we've been living in for years full time. So what does a new RV look like? What is the quality of the RVs that are coming off the line today and hitting the RV dealership that people are buying? Are they junk or are they a little bit higher quality than what we're seeing here? You might actually be surprised what I found out when we went to the RV dealership. Either way, this is gonna confirm what some people think about RVs, whether you think they're great or whether you think they're junk. Some of the comments that we've had down in the description, they're, they're hilarious. I love some of these. This one says, just like everything in the RV business, built to absolute minimum. They are overpriced, junk, and people still buy them. Pretty harsh words for the RV industry. Here's another one. Uh, to have an RV, you must be a general DIYer. Even new commercial RVs are generally cheap junk assembled from cheap junk components by incompetent workers. That's, uh, that one's pretty harsh. Let's go check out some of those new RVs at the dealership. Now, the first one that we walked into, I'd say is similar quality to the grand design that we have. Some things were less quality, like the cabinets were already starting to peel, but the cabinets felt solid. The plumbing was a little bit better, but a lot of the things were very similar to what we have in our grand design. The next RV over was a different story. This one felt flimsy at every turn. Now this one's just kind of your run of the mill RV, kind of your typical RV, and you can start to see where things are not near as good a quality. So you'll see the wall to the ceiling, you'll see where the kind of the wallpaper is starting to separate or kind of peel or buckle. Opening up drawers, you can just feel how flimsy they are. So not only are the, the materials feel like they're less, the, the craftsmanship doesn't feel like it's quite on par as the one we looked at before, but the price, is, there's definitely a difference in price. Now, it's kind of sad to say that I, I wasn't surprised by the poor quality that I was finding in this RV. Definitely not as surprising and shocking as what I found in the next RV, but looking at this one, it kind of made me break it up into a couple of different categories. Number one, you can have cheap materials. The cheap materials, you're gonna see the, the drawers flexing, the, the doors flexing, the poor products that are put into it, but then you also have the other side of it of poor workmanship. Here's exactly what I'm talking about. You look behind this wall here and we don't have bad products that are back in here. It's just not that great a workmanship. You look at the, the wires and the panel, those are fine, but they're put in like a rat's nest in there. It could be so much better. So when you bring those two things together, you have better products and you have good workmanship, you're gonna end up with a much better product. It's just what's gonna happen. That's kind of what happened when we went through the next RV. We didn't plan on going through this one, but they had it on the lot. And my response was completely different after going through one for, for about 20 minutes. I'm going through here and I can't find much of anything to nitpick. Now, this is the Brinkley, and I had seen this at the Tampa RV show, but I was curious, once one hits the dealership, what are they actually like? Is one just dressed up for the, the show, and what does it actually look like that's being delivered for people purchasing these? So the things that I just noticed, different from the RV before, is these have a, a much better tire on them. So it's a commercial grade tire, so you're not gonna be worried about it blowing out on the road. Underbelly underneath the RV was actually beautiful. It was very flat and just the way that it should be. A much better product, and and install of it. The cabinet tree felt extremely solid, soft closed doors, a drastic difference in that area. Also good plumbing with true supply lines and shutoffs, the, the wire management and just the, the workmanship for the electrical was definitely improved. 
even looking at the joints from the walls to the ceilings, just all those things, it was a drastic improvement from the last one that we looked at. Now, one thing that I did see that was common to our RV is the underbelly of that slide. It's just a coating on plywood, basically, and it, we you saw the repair that we had to do on ours just because we were starting to wear through that because we use it so much. So without them putting some kind of a barrier underneath there, uh, that's just something that's gonna wear out over time. Now, when it comes to things like the fan, it's the same fan that we saw in the Brinkley as we have in here, and it's not necessarily a bad product or the trim coming off the wall that I need to fix. That's just from use and wear. So a lot of these things can happen to just about any RV that's out there. Now, we could talk about products more, but that's almost a whole nother conversation of what what kind of accessories and products do the RV manufacturers have the ability to put into their RVs? So some of the lists that I have on our RV, I imagine would have on a Brinkley too at, at some point. But the, the big but in all of this is that RV, that Brinkley RV is almost the same length as what ours is here. And when we bought ours, the, the price that we paid, we could have bought two of these compared to that one Brinkley. So there is a price difference. Now, this one being sold today is more, you couldn't buy two of these now compared to the one Brinkley, but that just gives you an idea that not all RVs out there are junk. And I do think the standard can be raised, especially when you're looking at, at workmanship things that can be improved without really having to spend any more on product, those steps should be taken. Like for instance, this border around our slide, it, it drives me insane. Looking at this, you see this little detail that they have over the slide. I never thought much about it, especially when we first got the RV, but the more you're in it and you see it and you were like, hey, that's not centered on the slide. And you're like, oh, it must be centered to the couch. Then you look at the couch. No, it's not centered on the couch. It's not centered on the window. It's not centered centered on anything. And that's just something that they could have done by making sure that you had equal cut lengths on both sides of the slide and put that in the middle. Those are just kind of the things that just drive me nuts sometimes. It's just, just pay attention to the details, put out a good product, and it's gonna be better for the RV industry as a whole. But I get it, they're just moving as fast as they can, getting units out. But I, I do think that we can ask for more, especially looking at that Brinkley. They're not all junk, but sometimes when you pay a little bit more, you might get a little bit more. Now, the Brinkley wasn't in our price range, and that's one of the reasons that we landed with the Grand Design. Number one, it had the layout that we wanted. We knew what we were getting with it. We, we knew it wasn't a perfect RV, but we were good with the price and the quality. So knowing those two things, that's how we landed in here. We've been very happy that we have this RV. No regrets getting this one. Do I think they can step it up a little bit? I definitely do think they can step it up a little bit in in a few different areas. So I try and keep a, a balanced approach. I, I'm not down on Grand Design, but at the same time, I don't give them a thumbs up on everything and say everything they do is perfect. I, I think that's a good balance. So I know people are gonna ask about prices. So that Brinkley was 104,000. The more flimsy RV is 111,000. It's, it's 10 feet longer, but I don't quite understand that price. So if you were to buy this Grand Design today, it is at 70,000. So you can see that there's more than a $30,000 difference between the, those two RVs. I guess the answer to the question, do, do I think all RVs are junk? Definitely not. Do I think there's room for improvement for RVs and that some RVs really need to step up their game? Absolutely. But for now, I'll just work on a few of these things. Replacing the drawer glides with better hardware to make the cabinets feel that much better. Replacing the border around the slide so it doesn't bug me every time that I look at it. It's just gonna help us enjoy the RV that much more. The way that I look at it, see a problem, fix it, move on, enjoy RVing. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys like this video about our RVs junk. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about RVing or even some of the projects that we do to make our RV better than it originally was, hit that subscribe button because we always have more videos coming out. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you next video. We'll catch you later.